boring, boring. Mostly from people who couldn't understand the anime. I respect their opinion, but let me provide a different viewpoint. First reason they complain is the slower pace of the anime. Development and growth take time as they gradually reveal the important situation that leads to Thorfinn's changes. Second reason, less action. It's not shonen, it's senen. It's not always fighting, it's more about introspection and showcasing the smaller, realistic aspect of life. And fights have a smaller part in it. Forming. Farming serves as a metaphorical journey for Thorfinn's character's development and a means for him to find a sense of purpose and inner peace. And also gives capital to Ketal. Here comes the money! Vinland Saga Season 2 is not always fighting, or it doesn't need any fancy powerful sparkling animation or fan service of high-pitched anime girl with a big jiggly lump of meat that tends to attract many people. The anime and story itself is fine and compelling. The story tells about the self-development and the growth of our man Thorfinn. On his journey, he will inevitably face problems and trials. He will meet new friends and also encounter new enemies. We can see the development of Thorfinn in this season, realizing many things by experiencing struggles and trials and listening to other individuals' history that will make him gradually change his perspective on life. Whenever sad music plays during the scenes where Einar's family was killed, where Gardar wanted to be with his family, but sadly, he died. In the final moments of Ironheart, filled with pain and suffering in her terrible life. If I or we are in their shoes, we might think the world is unfair. People are awful and the pain is unbearable. That's why we empathize. And sadly, this happens also in human history. When Thorfinn saw all of those situations where war is unstoppable, the pain is endless and more suffering for people, he stepped up and bravely faced all of the soldiers of Ganote. In that scene, the famous line was born, I have no enemies. Emphasize the idea that everyone's entered this world without enemies. Enemies are shaped by society, families, or personal decisions. Violence breeds more violence, but individuals have the choice to rise above and be the bigger person, opting for forgiveness rather than revenge. By embracing this mindset, one can break free from the notion of having enemies and instead foster understanding and harmony in their interactions with others. Vinland Saga is exceptionally well written, showcasing its strong characters, vivid scenery, gripping conflicts, and compelling plots. I love all the characters and the situation in the anime because of how they shape Thorfinn into pacifist or into better person. They even called him Jesus because of his sacrifice that he made. For me, this is the anime of the year, and Makoto Yukimura is the go. Thank you everyone for watching. If you love this video, please comment on your thoughts about the Vinland Saga Season 2. I love reading those. And also, don't forget to subscribe. See you next video.